Well, hello, music fans. Today, let's look at 25 albums recorded in the past 25 years. Okay, we're going to loosely do these A to Z. And I'm going to start with this one. It's a mouthful. Uh, it was a great comeback album. And at the time, I thought it was actually album of the year. I was really super impressed. Always been an Adam the Ants fan. Huge Adam Ant fan. This is an amazing comeback album. It's a mouthful. Adam Ant is the Blue Black Hussar in Marrying the Gunner's Daughter. What a kick butt album this is. Okay, very cool packaging, and I could go on and on about this one because I really dig it. Um, maybe two songs out of the whole bunch that aren't super stellar. Uh, cool Zombie, Vince Taylor. Um, there's so many, so many more. Uh, there's some modern influences on this album. Um, and there's the old Adam Ant style as well. So we're going to zip through some of these because there's many genres, many albums. Uh, I'm a record store guy. I've worked at actually four different locations, four different record stores in southern Minnesota. Been collecting albums for over 50 years, believe it or not. All right, quickly up next, we have the Arctic Monkeys. I'm a big fan of the Arctic Monkeys, although their last album is a little slow for me. The last actual couple albums, they started out as a very young, energetic, kind of punk, uh, awesome band. And this is a culmination of maturing as a band, and I really dig this album. It's a popular one, still here in heavy rotation today, and there's plenty more where that came from. Okay, next we have the Beastie Boys. This is Hot Sauce Committee Part 2. I don't know that there was a Part 1, but I know that we love Part 2. Super, super cool album. Very cool packaging. And we love the Beastie Boys. Up next, a famous album, a well-known album. Great Austin City Limits performance they had. The Black Keys, El Camino, which I love. Love the music on. Talk about kicking it old school, huh? Um, I used to have this van. This was kind of our winter van, and I let my daughter drive it when she turned 16. And Anyhow, they toured, and I believe this one, and put a lot of miles on it. Being a two-piece band, they packed up all their goodies in the van. They went around sounding, sounding amazing. Great live performance, and that's very well captured in this album. We're going to backtrack just a little bit because I skipped back. Incredible, incredible 12 inch here. And actually has the Beastie Boys credited. So we have Venom Confection, Ghost Range on the back. Super cool. A banjo on side too, back uh, featuring a banjo player. Really, really cool album. Cool 12 inch. And I must double back to, of course, the Black Keys. It's not a live album, but it captures the feeling that they have as a live band. Let's move on to the full-on masterpiece, album of the year, 2016, jazz influence, modern influence, old influence, alien technology. Out of this world, timeless is what I'm saying. David Bowie, Black Star. A gift to his fans. Phenomenal, phenomenal album. Now on all these, I could start name-checking songs I don't know that we'll have the time. Um, I love to talk about music. So we will do deep dives on many more albums. And most of our albums are really 70s, even more so 80s. We have a lot of 60s, 50s. That's why I wanted to do the past 25 years. It's not something I'm always talking about. I usually am talking about heavy metal, classic rock, new wave, synth, alternative. This has it all. This has it all. If you haven't heard it, I suggest you do. It was his gift to his fans. I'm going to say this. I saw him live. This might be his best album. Nobody else is saying that, I'm sure. But I know his early stuff is great. Let's Dance. Tough to beat. So this, this holds its own right there with it. It's just super cool. Uh, the videos are amazing. The music is stellar. Stellar. A lot of brass influences. Modern drumming, modern bass, just timeless and shows you the vocals are so stellar, so epic. David Bowie left on a high note. 
he was great live when I saw him, Roy Wilkins Auditorium, many years ago on the Earthling Tour. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to stay to the end. There's some bonus albums that I have that didn't quite make the cut, only because they're a couple of years past the 25 year mark. Here's a delicious album for you, what? Cake, delicious. A showroom of Compassion, featuring Long Time. Again, I'm not gonna name check too many songs because I'll have a 12 hour video because I love to talk about music, but overall, amazing, really stellar album. And it's fun here that a guy used to call these when I worked at a certain record store called Broadway Records here in Rochester, Minnesota. He used to come in and buy these albums because they were colored vinyl. And he would say that they were lollipops. And they are cool. Now, some picture discs, I will say, be warned, uh, some picture discs don't play great from back in the day. But this one um, is not a picture disc. It's just cool colored vinyl, and it plays awesome. Every song is cool. That will bring us to a very rare bird. Last I knew, anyhow. Unless there's a reissue done of it, the cars move like this. Of course, we bit, we miss Ben Orr dearly, but they channeled him. They channeled him, and there's still the cars. Of course, Rick Ocasek was still around at that point. We, of course, make, miss Rick dearly as well. This is a really great album. This is this holds its, its own, has that classic car sound. And it was produced in 2011. So it's just a great comeback, even though it, the word was they never would. Uh, a really stellar track for me was Keep On Knocking. The whole thing is really good. Oops, I almost passed up the Chemical Brothers. Surrender. This is really cool, featuring members of New Order and Mazzy Star on different songs. Saw them live back in the day, too. Again, cool packaging, awesome album, The Chemical Brothers. Surrender. Highly suggested. Of course, prior to that was Come With Us, with a Fat Boy Slim remix. More Chemical Brothers. And now for something completely different. And that's what I like about our album collection. We cover different genres. That's for sure. The Deftones. White Pony. Always liked the Deftones. Never knew how great they are until I heard this album. Then I realized, wow. Um, members of Tool, Maynard, on this album, on a certain track. Again, I can talk about individual songs because they change styles. They have that classic Deftone sound, kind of raw. Then they'll go into like a new wave mid-tempo song. I love that. Love that. Love the variety on this album. Epic, influential, the Deftones, White Pony. Next, another band I enjoyed seeing live with the classic lineup at the time, the Foo Fighters, Concrete and Gold. Sir Paul McCartney on a song here. Very cool album. I believe he plays the drums on Sunday Rain. I mean, who would have thunk it? That's an awesome song. Also, The Sky is the Neighborhood. Really enjoy that. Probably one of my very, very favorite Foo Fighters albums. Just really consistent. Okay, we're going to show an album that's not from 25 years ago. It's from a lot long, way further back. Let's say that. Gang of Four Entertainment. Why do I show that? Because it's one of the coolest, greatest albums of all time, post-punk. But that leads me to this. And thanks for sticking with me here. King of Four. Content. This is a really cool album. Great comeback album. They're still around. They've changed members uh, for several different reasons. They've lost some people through the way, as I could have said also R.I.P. with the Taylor from the Foo Fighters. Andy Gill from Gang of Four, dearly missed. Exceptional guitarist. They carry on, they carry on with the same sound today still, though. So here's a great album. Check it out. Any album by Gang of Four I enjoy, especially the early, early stuff. But the comeback stuff is very stellar, strong as well. Okay, here's a band that's currently out recording, making new albums that we like a lot. And we have, I think, most everything but their newest album, Interpol. Turn on the bright lights. And here we have Antics. I 
I've got on another video a bunch of 45s. This one's on there, of course. Heimlich Maneuver, very cool. Check it out. If you like 45s, we have stuff from the 50s all the way to new, newer. Probably our favorite Interpol album. Saw them on that tour opening for you too. Self-titled. A couple of the newer ones. Really stellar albums. El Pintor. Cool motif. As they seem to always have. This one too kind of has a spy theme. I like that a lot. Marauder. Really good album. Interesting spy theme. If you know what I mean. Cool packaging. Really good live band. A band out there keeping rock alive, and we appreciate that. Next up, Moby, Wait For Me. We have this on white vinyl. Love the gloss of the white vinyl. Pretty cool. Here we have another very cool band. Really enjoyed their first album and the second. A perfect circle. Here we have a gatefold. Gets a little tricky because say 20, 25 years ago a lot of vinyl was not being pressed so a lot of things we do have on CD that you may think oh you're missing this stellar album or this epic release. Probably have it on CD. Glad to have this on vinyl. It is not a special edition. It is customized, cornered, I got a good deal on it. I bought it new actually, but it was in shrink wrap and it had dog bites out of it. So I gave it a little trim. The vinyl plays perfect. And I love the first two albums of A Perfect Circle. I actually think the second one is as good or better than the first and that's saying a lot. That's very high praise. Another band that I've always been interested in, Silver Sun Pickups. Their newer stuff, I have on vinyl their older stuff I we have on CD they started out with a very much a smash and pumpkins type sound and then once you know they have Butch Vig productions recently Butch Vig productions on this next album that we'll talk about but we're still talking about better nature really enjoy better nature it's a three-sided album we had a Foo Fighters album earlier concrete gold also a three-sided album different uh, mixed Reviews on just having three sides of vinyl, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Cool packaging, great album, great music, fast, exciting, fun music. Derivative of the Smashing Pumpkins, yes. Found their own niche, yes, they're not a copycat band. I heard people saying copycat band, not in my view, not in my view whatsoever. Music, we are all influenced by different genres, different sounds, we mix it together. I think they're very original with what they do nowadays, but certainly we're influenced. Okay, there's etchings on this side four. You wouldn't want to play that. It's kind of neat. You can see across the street there. Uh, you can see our setup in our living room. Some people would rather have no etchings and more music. It is debatable. I'm a music guy, so you probably know where I fall on that one. But who doesn't love art? Here we have Widow's Weeds. Butch Vig production, Butch Vig production that I was talking about. Stellar music, futuristic, definitely growing as a band, maintaining their same classic sound, not making the same album twice though. Very cool artwork as well. Okay, on to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. What a fantastic band through the years. I started listening to them in like fifth, sixth grade, and I'm 54 years old. So again, we're counting from 25 albums in the past 25 years, loosely in alphabetic order. Red Hot Chili Peppers, these don't count, I suppose, because it's the greatest hits, but it's so very cool that I'll show you anyhow. Classic lineup. All their lineups have been pretty good. They've been able to maintain their greatness as a band. And while I say that, I think this is the best album that they've come out with in many, many years. And I think it's a top two or three, I said that. Red Hot Chili Peppers album. We have an exclusive here and let's show you more. Of course, a special artist was commissioned for this fantastic artwork. He carries the style through on the backside. 
And this is an album where the music fully matches the artwork. Tip of my tongue. But they have a song on here for Eddie Van Halen with some screaming guitar solos, as you should have for Eddie. Really impressed with this album. I heard it, I was like, they are back, and then some. Fantastic. Back to the lollipops. Was I ever happy on my December 24th birthday when I received this? From Kristen. Shorty, I call her. Yeah, luckiest guy on earth. She can really rattle the pots and pans, too. So with our garden, she cooks me a fine dinner, let me tell you. Lucky to have my soulmate. So she got me this. We love it. You can't be in a bad mood and listen to this. It may be, but it's, it's hard to do. It's, it's that good. Got another gift right around that time from my daughter, the Prodigy, live. I knew I raised her right. She's my adult daughter in her 30s. They love vinyl. The Prodigy. Live Warriors. Very cool artwork. Uh, I guess photography, you could say. Here's some artwork. Again, I'm picky about live albums. I've said that on my Cheap Trick vinyl review ranking albums. Um, they have stellar live music, as do the Prodigy. I'll show you one more, and then we'll be on to the next, which I'm really excited about, okay? Did I say cool photography? Let's go to the next. Huge Josh Homme fan, keeping the rock alive. Them Crooked Vultures. Okay, so I'm a huge fan of everyone in this band. John Paul Jones. Everybody wants to record with John Paul Jones. He's in Them Crooked Vultures. Along with a guy named David Grohl you may have heard of. Okay, again, stellar. So cool. Packaging, motif, artwork. Love it. Love it. Fits the music. Another one that fits the music. Always fascinated by birds. Had a hummingbird in my garden a few minutes ago. Who doesn't want to fly? Okay, so spread your wings and fly when you listen to this. John Paul Jones, rocking the bass, rocking the keys. David Grohl on the drum set. Another album you see a lot lately. Vessel, 21 Pilots. I remember when I first saw them, I, I phoned my daughter and I said, you're going to like 21 Pilots. And she knows bands, I know bands, we're always talking music. And yes, these were also gifts from her. Through the years, we buy each other a ton of vinyl. There's one more, 21 Pilots. Very, very cool. This album, Blurry Face, interesting fact, okay? All cool stuff, super cool packaging, kind of reminds you of bands from the groovy times. So paying homage, I love that. This is a very cool album, but I think maybe it is Vessel that I'm looking to talk about because I'm backtracking and why. Okay, so this vinyl, when you play it, it's translucent. That's right, translucent, see-through vinyl. So what happens is it looks like it's going backwards when it spins on your turntable. I should, I should film it and show it because it's spinning on the turntable at 33.3, which we all love. It's sounding amazing, but it looks like it's going backwards. And you talk about a trip of the brain uh, that is on this album. Enjoy watching it spin backwards or appearing to do so. A little Houdini magic for you. Okay, we have a few bonus albums for you that didn't quite make the cut because they are not quite as new. They're a little past 25 years old. Sublime. What a great album to party to. Still hear these songs nowadays. Fairly common. Always fun to hear Sublime. Huge fan of Garbage. Love the first album. Saw him live on the Bleed Like Me tour. Here's Garbage 12 Inch, Stupid Girl. Big fan of Butch Vig, Shirley. But I don't want to leave the other guys out in the band. Equally important. Always making good music. Love Stupid Girl. And the remixes are very cool. Here's one, little too old, little older than 25 years. Maybe that's redundant. But I wanted some bonus material. Tool, opiate. I have other Tool vinyl. Love all their albums. Love their live show. 
always tend to go back to this one though. It's, what is it, five songs? Let's get some live stuff. It's six songs, but I always tend to go back to this. It's, it's a little more garagey, if you can say so. Met members of Tool, Smashing Pumpkins concert, the Adore tour up in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Very cool to talk to. Actually partied a bit with Adam Jones. Uh, talked about the artwork with him. Still remember it like it was yesterday. So I tend to go back to this one. It's just, like I said, a bit more garagey. Uh, I love first albums. I'm a first album guy. And I feel like all their other music is amazing and continues to increasingly get better and better. But it all is a derivative of this in a good way. One more bonus item I couldn't help myself. It's from a mega store exclusive rush. None of these songs were recorded probably within the past 25 years, but undoubtedly they are great songs. And what's cool again is the red vinyl. Had to show you that. And I just love talking about Rush. I saw Rush live with Primus. I'm the guy that loved both bands. There was definitely a divisive crowd. Who doesn't love Primus? So Rush and Primus were great double bill in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's been a long time since I saw them. Wish I could see them again. Those days are over, but the legacy will never die. Cool Rush vinyl and cool selection of songs. Of course, the name of that is Icon and well put. So I want to thank you for taking the time to look at our albums from the past 25 years and then some. Think about liking and subscribing, commenting. We love musical banter and we have our own 500 titles. So there'll be lots more vinyl to talk about. Have a great day. Be kind. Rewind. And thank you.